In this video, I'm going to show you the Tidal Music streaming integration in Serato DJ. You're going to learn how it works, what it does, what it does not do, and then you're going to hear our thoughts on it. Now, if you're not familiar with Tidal, it's a streaming service owned by the rapper Jay-Z. And though it's not as popular as, say, Spotify or Apple Music, it is able to set itself apart by having high-quality music streams in the form of flag files. And now that Tidal is found inside Serato DJ, you can spin with those high-res files whenever you're spinning with tracks from Tidal. Now, before we get into that, why would you want to spin using a music streaming service? Well, having access to a service means you've got access to millions of songs which you probably don't have in your laptop. And that means that you don't need to buy or download those songs. Yes, you can just drag them over onto your Serato decks and you can stream them as long as you've got an internet connection. And we're going to see that in action later on. So really, the only thing that you're paying for here is your Tidal monthly subscription. And when you sign up for Tidal, you've got a 30-day free trial at the time of this filming. So if you've got Serato DJ on your computer, all you need to do is to update to the latest version, whether it's Serato DJ Pro or Serato DJ Lite, and then sign up for Tidal to get your 30-day free access. So imagine if you're just DJing at home or maybe you got some friends over, instead of having to download those songs, you can just, you know, open up Tidal on Serato DJ, look for those songs and drop them into your Serato decks and voila, you are able to spin without actually having to buy those tracks. Saves you time, saves you money, and saves you a ton of effort. So having said that, let's take a look at how Tidal works within Serato DJ. All right, so I fired up Serato DJ Pro and you're gonna find Tidal over here in your collections browser over here on the left side just click on title and now you're going to find all the songs that you currently have in a playlist and these are songs that i actually added in my own title playlist and to view those playlists just click on the drop down arrow over here and currently i have two playlists joey's new friday picks as well as my dj music now check this out all i need to do is to drag and drop this song over onto the top deck and that is going to be streaming straight from Tidal. You can do it with any of the songs that you've got in here. It's super simple and it works really well. Now, if you want to search title for music, all you need to do is to click on this one and then type the name of the artist or song that you like. Let's say, drag and drop that. There you are. Cool. Now, you can manage your title playlists from within Serato DJ or over on the title site, which I will show you in a minute. But first, let's try doing that right here. If you notice over here at the top, you're going to find a new icon. This is to add a new title playlist. So let's click on that. There we are. And let's rename this. Call it House Picks. And let's start adding some songs. Let's say I want to add some tracks by Disclosure. All I need to do is to click on the title logo over here. And let's do a search. Disclosure. All right, now we're going to see the middle window populate. And you're going to find that these songs have the iTunes logo, meaning these are songs that are currently on my hard drive. But if we scroll down, you're going to find songs with the Tidal logo beside them. And that means these are coming straight from the Tidal service. Now, I'm trying to look for songs by Disclosure, not necessarily songs that have Disclosure as their title. So currently, I'm not seeing any. Right, and that can be a bit of a problem, especially if you're not sure which Disclosure song you want to play. So. Hopefully, this gets sorted later on. So, okay, let's try to get a little bit more specific here. Let's say I want to add a classic from this group, Latch. Right, okay, now I'm seeing like a bunch of tracks from Disclosure, the artist. So, I want this version that I like. Let's drag that over onto House Picks. 
And you can also find like a lot of different versions over here. You've got chill out version, acoustic guitar version, and all that stuff. So yeah, if you are a wedding DJ and you know, you're in a venue that has a strong Wi-Fi connection and you need to play background music, or even if you've got requests from the dance floor that somehow you would not be able to fill just because you didn't bring it in your external hard drives or it's not on your computer, well, music streaming is a convenient service to do just that. That's why having that integrated within Serato DJ is such a huge, huge help. Okay, so we've added one song over here in House Picks and you see that. Let's add a couple more. I'm just gonna speed this up. All right, so far we've added four songs into our playlist and we can just drag these, we can play them. Yeah, everyone knows the song. And it loads pretty quickly, though I am on a strong Wi-Fi connection. So yeah, wasn't expecting that to have any problems. Okay, cool. So that is how you create a playlist over in Tidal using Serato DJ. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, it'd be cool if I could have a playlist that combines both my local music as well as music from Tidal. And currently, you are not able to do that. For example, let's try adding this remix by Britney over into my new Friday picks. And you can't do that because only streaming tracks can be moved into streaming playlists. So there you go. Basically, you cannot mix a streaming track into a local Serato crate and vice versa. Also, there is a misconception with music streaming where if suddenly the Wi-Fi conks out, your music stops playing. And that is not true. Actually, what happens is when you load a track over onto a deck in Serato, it downloads it in the background and this is basically available to play even if your Wi-Fi suddenly dies. So let's try that. I'm going to play this track right now. And while it's playing, I'm going to shut off my Wi-Fi over here. Turn off. And yeah, stream server could not be reached. Please check connection. So I am currently disconnected from the internet. And as you can see, the song continues to play. And that's because Serato DJ already caches this song over onto your hard drive. So yeah, even if the internet dies or something happens, maybe you're tethered to your phone and suddenly it dies because you're out of the battery, your music does not stop with it. I know where that misconception comes from. It comes from people streaming music from YouTube or they're watching YouTube and then suddenly when the Wi-Fi dies, the music stops. That is not the case. That said, it only caches one song at a time. So no, there is no offline mode in Serato and Tidal, at least not yet. So that means you have to be online if you want to be able to search for music over in the Tidal music streaming service and if you want to access your playlists. All right, so we are back online and I already showed you how to manage your playlists and music from within Serato DJ. Now I'm gonna show you how you can do the same thing over on the Tidal interface using your web browser. So let's do that. I'm gonna open up Chrome. And over here, I am in my Tidal dashboard. And over here on the lower left, you're gonna find the playlists that we already have. House picks are there, all four songs are in there. And also, uh, the other playlists that I currently have. Now, let's say I want to make a new playlist. Let's call this Pop Picks. There we are. You can find that there. And I am going to start adding stuff. There we are. So yeah, it is a little bit easier to do your playlist management and song selection from within the title interface compared to Serato because, well, you've got the graphic interface in here and you also have like a more extensive browser over here on the left side of the screen. But we do expect the integration between Tidal and Serato DJ to improve over time. So even if we did have a bit of an issue earlier when it came to searching for disclosure, in the future, I'm sure they're gonna iron that out. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot easier to do that type of quick searching, just like you were using the Tidal web interface. All right, cool. So I already got my songs in here. And now if we open up Serato, you're gonna notice that that 
new playlist that we just created doesn't show up. And even if I close and open the title tree, you're still not going to find it. At the moment, you have to restart Serato DJ Pro in order to see that new playlist that we just made over in the title interface. So let's do that. Okay, so we fired up Serato DJ Pro again, and now you'll find the playlist that we just created. Now, one last thing before we end, I showed you earlier that it wasn't possible to mix local songs that you've got on your hard drive with sounds that come from Tidal. However, you are able to use the prepare playlist over here. Just click on prepare. You've got this little blank at the top and you can drag and drop songs from either Tidal or from your local library in there. And they exist in this prepare window over here. So it would have been cool if there was an offline mode. So even if you aren't connected to the internet, you can still access all of your title playlists and music. And we do expect that to happen at some point in the future because it just makes so much sense. And that was something that Pulse Locker had when it was still a part of a Serato a year ago. So our view is that music streaming isn't going to replace a local music library, meaning music that you've got stored on your hard drive anytime soon. However, this is a really good start. And Tidal does plug in that hole that Pulse Locker left, which was the former streaming service that was baked into Serato DJ when it shuttered sometime last year. So it really is a good start. It's cool to have access to those FLAC files while you're DJing. And also, I like the way that you're able to create playlists for Tidal within Serato DJ itself. Now, of course, Tidal isn't the most obvious choice when it comes to music streaming. Spotify and Apple Music are that already. And that's why we've made a separate video just for you to show you how you can get those playlists in whatever music streaming service you're using over into Tidal, which means that you can access those playlists and those songs from within Serato DJ. I've got a link to that below this video. So if you're curious as to how that works, just click on it. So that's going to be it for me. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching. Give us a big thumbs up and share this with your other DJ friends. I'm going to see you next time.